So recently I found a poem about stereotypes that I wrote when I was 17. It was on my first USB stick, a 256 megabyte artifact that my dad gave to me the day I left for university. Now the poetry itself, it left a lot to be desired, but running throughout ran a wisdom that relied my short 17 years on this earth. Throughout the rhyme and meter I counted 20 common stereotypes into which I could slot my life many in direct contradiction to each other. For you see, I am more than the sum of my parts. Can you be a Christian raver? Can you be a yuppie punk? Can you be a virgin seductress? Can I be a tomboy and a woman? Can I be a hippie that sometimes listens to the charts? This poem is for anyone who's ever hesitated to tick a box. This poem is for everyone who intrinsically knows that they are complex. For anyone who recognizes that the ever-moving Venn diagrams that make up our lives look more like spirographs. We are splitting offshoots, tangents, conversations. We are context misplaced. We are situations, places and faces. We are races mixing something beautiful. Not a melting pot which assimilates but a mosaic of beautiful tiles ever so carefully placed precisely where they were always meant to be. It was 10 years after I wrote that poem that I discovered the Poetry Slam, my kind of town hall meeting, where my preconceived ideas, they all were smashed by a diverse array of views viewed in an array of verse, traversing, transcending stereotypes nested within the context of Life, society, family, moving the world forward, facing the immense challenges that we are all bound to face. We have been exposed to new ways of thinking through shared differences, vulnerability. Our words broke down the barriers that barricade these streets where quiet truths became more powerful than pumped up vocal cords. Our sharpened tongues they shredded labels. You see, our eyes became colorblind. Our ears reminded us that they are twice as powerful as our solitary voice. The spoken word became our Bible verse. The slam became our church. The mic became our pulpit. We delivered sermons to the undelivered. We democratized our crowd by taking power back from highbrows who would judge our every word and handing it over freely to five strangers who simply became qualified by walking in the the door. And now democracy has become a dirty word. So how do we find ourselves here? How have we gone from strong voices in the halls to Chinese whispers in the halls? Democracy itself is not broken, but we have been misrepresented. Now presented with the right facts and the right opportunities, we find we each have the power to take hold of our own destinies. And love or hate what you hear at a poetry slam, Guaranteed when you walk out the door, you will better understand the collective wisdom from behind our eyes, behind these masks and faces we all wear. Not a single soul in the world has a monopoly on the answers to all of our problems, not the prophet, nor the saint. So tell me your theories. Lend me your ears. And maybe through talking and sharing peer to peer, we might be able to reach out across these distances and draw the horizons in from my heart to my hand to your open arm span. We might be able to evolve and finally shake the fear of that box ticking boogeyman. Yeah.